the center of that low pressure system is near the Kansas and Missouri border and there's a warm front that extends from it out towards the east and in fact it's quite warm in Chicago where they have temperatures in the upper 70s. We certainly won't be seeing any of that and all of the rain that we have is a north of this warm front that extends into parts of southern Michigan. This warm front's going to travel north, and once the warm front just passes north of our area, that's when we'll have temperatures spiking into the 60s tomorrow morning. It does not last. You can see it's cold enough for plenty of snow between South Dakota, Minnesota, and the Upper Peninsula. We will not be getting any snow, but by Friday night and early Saturday, some much colder temperatures will be on the way in. So the first round of rain continues this evening into tonight. There could be a few hours of some dry weather during the pre dawn period early on Friday, but then Friday morning and Friday afternoon we will have an incoming cold front that's going to bring us a second round of rain and the potential of some thunderstorms. Late in the day on Friday, that all moves off to the east. Friday evening, we're going to have drier conditions along with much colder temperatures. The first half of the weekend is looking dry, but it is going to be quite chilly heading into Saturday. For tonight, temperatures about steady or rising in the middle to upper 40s with rain and a potential of thunderstorms arriving, particularly for areas north of M72. Then for tomorrow, we'll have morning and afternoon rain along with a risk of thunderstorms. These high temperatures will be early in the day. Lower 60s for most of us. Presque Hill County is going to be colder because that area north of Alpena likely not getting into the warmer air. For our high school football game of the week coming up tomorrow evening, it's going to be 43 degrees around kickoff, so sharply colder as we head into Friday evening. In fact, by the end of the game, temperatures likely falling into the upper 30s. We will have mainly cloudy skies along with a noticeable breeze from the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The highest chances of rain tomorrow Tomorrow will be in the morning and afternoon highs near 62 degrees in the morning and then the temperatures dive down to 31 degrees early Saturday highs on Saturday will only be in the middle 40s so we will have a return to below normal temperatures during the weekend and into next week with highs that will continue to be in the 40s on Sunday starting off close to 30 degrees a high of 43 and a chance of scattered showers moving in late in the day on Monday we'll have a chance of some patchy showers during the first half of the day highs near 43 degrees for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies highs around the middle 40s around 43 degrees on Tuesday, 44 on Wednesday and about 46 on Thursday.